So let's just go back. Back to... I don't even know when this would have been. When did I start making videos on here? Like two years ago? Year and a half ago? Almost two years? I think it'll be two years in September. So, what are we in May now? So a year and... Six months? Eight months? I don't know. I can't do math, obviously. But... I was so gun ho back then with my awesome camera. I still can't seem to get the lighting right most of the time. But, uh, yeah. That's, what, what, what were my first ideas? What were my first ideas that I have not done yet? And go ahead, leave a comment down below if you want me to do one of these stupid, stupid ideas. So, I first started off with challenge videos. Cardio Sunday Challenges. So I'm sure most people have heard of the beer mile, but for some reason I thought it'd be a good idea to do the milk mile. Shugging a 16 ounce glass of milk every lap around. Yeah, so that's that comes down to what a half a gallon of milk curdling in your stomach, slushing around your stomach as you are trying to run a mile. Sounds like it'd be a great, great challenge. For some reason, all of these are cardio beer mile challenges. I also had OJ. I don't know why. Because I guess you're supposed to run from OJ because, you know, might try to kill you. Uh, egg white mile? Why? I don't... What was I even thinking? Red Bull mile? Why? McDonald's mile? What is that? Like Big Mac challenge? Eat a Big Mac? What? Jeff, why? The cinnamon mile. That sounds great. Try to eat a uh, teaspoon or tablespoon or whatever the challenge is every quarter mile. That that sounds like real good uh, challenge. Yeah. A mystery drink mile. Oh, that would be fun. That would be lots of fun. Let's go on to the next page. Um, uh, my lactose intolerance video I made twice twice and it, the audio sucks both times I don't know I don't know why I, I just I don't know maybe someday I'll remake that video when I have adequate sound equipment I don't know it'll probably still just screw up somehow like I feel like I had like a mic on me like the lavalier, or however you say it, the uh, one that, you know, stuck on your shirt. And it's still, for some reason, the, it just, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know. But yeah, um, I don't even, I don't even know where this is going down here. Oh, uh, that was the, uh, the mystery challenge, mixing stupid concoctions up and seeing what it is. I'm sure I'll put a link up here uh, up there uh, Link into that stupid video Let's See here what else do we got uh, More challenges for some reason Jeff thinks it's a great idea to have challenges um, Mystery drink challenge again. I think that's the one I linked to just like 15 seconds ago Russian roulette drinks Sounds like it's the same thing as the mystery drink challenge Other food challenges very specific there Jeff very specific 10 different liquid mixer challenge mix two together again I think that I think I'm just beating a dead horse here with the same idea written four different ways very original, Jeff. Very original. McDonald's $10 box. Do a video on that. My McDonald's. I went to four McDonald's and they um, they said they didn't do that. So that just fell on the face. Like most of the stuff. Because my local fast food establishments don't like to participate in national things. Full Mickey D's menu challenge. That sounds terrible too, but maybe someday, 
Leave a comment down below if you want to see that. Full Taco Bell menu. Even better than McDonald's. Because I want to, you know, not get up for three days. Ooh, original. Another full menu challenge. Wendy's. Wow, Jeff. You, you had some great ideas back in, uh, whatever that was, 2015. End of 2015. Energy drink reviews. Well, that's that has gone places, I guess. I've, I've done a bunch of those. Hiking videos. Yeah. I'm sure there is plenty of those. Oh, wait, no, there's not. Because, um, yeah, Timo... I'm not going to blame Timo for everything, but uh, it's both for our laziness of not going hiking or making videos on it. Commercials on prescription drugs of how the, they... Have you noticed, like, in the last year, it says, insert drug name here, do not take this drug if you're allergic to it. <laughs> how am I supposed to know if I'm allergic to your drug unless... Um, Again, it's probably one of those things they got sued because they didn't put that as one of their disclaimers. Sue Happy USA. Ah, vlogs every day, all day, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Topic videos, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Challenge videos, Sunday. I think I got that up for like, what, like a week or two? And then that just fell on its face. Yeah. Lemongrass review. I don't know if I ever did that. I think I did it in the lactose intolerant video. Good stuff. Uh, lactose intolerance. Yeah. Still beating that dead horse. Domino's pizza pretzel crust. I think I did that one. Didn't I? Yeah. Video up here. Or just disregard if I don't put it up there. Uh, what else do we got here? BK Black Whopper. They got rid of it before, again, my local established BK got rid of it before Halloween, so I couldn't do it. Yeah, cool. I'll put a random BK video up there, probably chicken fries or something. I'm just going to load this video up. I don't, I'm probably already out because I think I can only have like five topic, topic uh, links up here. So if I'm out, then I apologize. You can just uh, click on subscribe down there. And then, well, you don't even have to hit the subscribe. Just hit my little name down there. And then pull up the search box and type in whatever I have said. If you really want to watch that video. Uh, what else do we got here? Buffalo chicken fries. I, I can't remember if I did that one. I know I did some kind of Burger King chicken fries. Sriracha cheeseburger. I think I did that one. I did some like if that was the one that was the long whopper. I have a lot of videos. You know, there's like what 240 something videos. You know, you can like I said, you can just like click that and just you can like watch them all. Just click them. Just keep going. Just hit that next button. I think once you hit like one, it'll show up down there. Like watch the next video in Jeff's series. You can just keep hitting that button and watch all 200 and uh, I think 57 videos. 258. I don't know what this is. Uh, what else do we got here? Something smoky bacon tender crisp. I don't know. Maybe I did that one too. You would find out if you hit that little search button. Oh, then uh, my failed uh, trying to make a video. For new subscribers, when they hit the uh, that little link I told you hit down there, where he comes up, and uh, I I took like a probably about 25 takes, and it just I think I put one up for a little while, and it just never. I'm gonna put it back up. I'll put it back up. I think it's still one of the videos that's looping somewhere in my mystery uh, videos uploaded here. Yeah. So if you're new, you can watch that. Probably. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, topic videos. As you can see, I had a lot of them. And it goes on to the next page, too. 
Canada. I did that video December 11th of 2015. Some random uh, beach story, December 20th. Um, hitchhiking, December 15th. I'm not going to read them all. But yeah, some stuff. Yeah, uh, fishbowl margaritas. It was a fun time. I think that, I think my fishbowl margaritas sitting around here somewhere. Not behind, oh, it's downstairs. I'm not going to get it. Oh, then I had, uh, again, trying to get back into every day. I had the, uh, Sunday fun day female fails. That was fun. That was fun for a while until, uh, I just didn't want to talk about it anymore. I still have plenty of those crazy stories of all my awesome attempts at the opposite sex. Monday, high school stories. I think I kept that up for a while, too. Tuesday, breakfast ramblings. I tried to, like, fill up the Franco it. I don't think that lasted long. Wyoming Wednesday. That was fun too, wasn't it? Thirsty Thursdays. Friday College 101 and Saturday Food Review or Cooking. I think I did like one or two of those. I think I did a bunch of food reviews, but they were on Saturday all the time. And cooking that went like what? Once or twice maybe? If you include the uh, meal preps, I guess there'll be a couple more times. But yeah. Here, oh, 29 2016 ideas. Again, very original. Thirsty Thursday, Homebrew Wednesday, Wing Wednesday, Wyoming Wednesday. Sounds like uh, something's repeating here. Breakfast rambling still. College food reviews, vlogs, house remodel, fitness. I don't even know what that says. Ask for ideas. That's what it says. So, uh, again, do some kind of stuff, you know, got inclined to. <laughs> Home brewing videos. We've done a couple of those, Timo and I. It's more fun than uh, the, all those homebrew videos, cooking videos, and juicing videos. I'm doing really good on those juicing videos, as you can see. Oh, I did one, one video of my unboxing of my Von Chef juicer. And trying and juicing. I still juice. It's just, I don't know. You guys really want to see me juice random stuff? Go ahead, leave some comments down below. Videos about different cars. I think I did a random video. I don't know if I published it or not. It was kind of like all over the place. Who knows that this video will get published? It's going on, what? Almost 14 minutes now. House tour. Sounds like it's uh, still going off of ideas. Oh, this is this is 12-4, 2016 ideas. This is still going off ideas from 11-29-16. Uh, oh, good job. Uh, job stories. I've had some really uh, exciting jobs in my life. I'm sure, I'm sure if you hit the search button, I think I... I'm sure I have some career stories or uh, other random stories. So, great chance. Yeah. Video about first day at my apartment. My last apartment. June 22nd, 2016. Looks like we're going back in time, but forward. Still talking about lactose and time. Parents videos, mac and cheese, cabot. I don't know if I ever did a video on that. Did I? No, no. Maybe if you search for it, maybe. There. Probably. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Oh, look. Still trying to go on that juicing idea. Cocktails. Making cocktails. Because I, you know, I want to steal ideas from a tipsy bartender. Ooh, uh, August 5th. Let's. Effing Go as my title for that. Taco Bell had two new items. I'm sure I probably did them because I do a lot of Taco Bell reviews. 
10k challenge it sounds so awesome but I don't think I can eat 10,000 calories like I struggle with like trying to just hit 5,000 calories again if you really want to see me do that uh, leave a comment down below I feel like just it's gonna be Matt it's gonna leave like 35,000 comments down below or just one huge essay of just bullet points of yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no. Um, oh, a video I never made. Never made. But I thought it was a good idea. Called it Bleak's Snapgram. Snapgram. Jeff's version of Snapchat being copied by Instagram. So I was going to go off of how, you know, <laughs> it's just stupid. Pretty much the same thing of what Instagram did with their stories of stealing that big debacle. But I got obviously way too busy with all my busy stuff in life that I didn't do it. Uh, August 20th. What would you tell your younger self? What would I tell my younger self? What would I tell 10-year-old Jeff? 10-year-old Jeff. So who's 10-year-old Jeff up to? I don't know. Study. Study in school and get good grades. 12-year-old Jeff. Pick up that camera. Like I am now. Like why? Like, I did it, like, every once in a while. Like, I, I was part of that jackass uh, stage between, like, probably, like, 12 and 18. Just stupid stuff, skateboarding videos and all that. Like, I found I found some old uh, mini DV videos from back in the day. And uh, a lot of stupidity on there. And I guess I just, why didn't I uh, start YouTube sooner? I guess. I don't think YouTube was around when I was 12 because I was only I've been 1999 I think. So yeah, still what? Six, seven years off of YouTube. At least when it started like gaining traction I guess. 2006 wasn't it? Like somewhere in that area with YouTube. I, I think it was like small stuff before that but you know. Yeah. Uh, 16, uh, 14 year old Jeff. What would you tell 14 year old Jeff? Don't be scared. Don't be scared to talk to females. Females, that's like, yeah. You know, 14 years old. I feel like I, uh, 14, what would that be like? So yeah, I guess uh, 14 year old Jeff, don't dump a girl over writing a letter to her. <laughs> Tell it to her face. Um, and waiting like, Two months of summer vacation, not talking to her in the first day of school, giving her that. Not cool, Jeff. 16 year old Jeff, um, again, don't think uh, the SAT was stupid. Um, write a better essay so you don't get like 300 points or whatever, 400 points on uh, the uh, essay. I was like the first year or second year that they, uh, SAT thought it was a great idea to uh, go up to the uh, 2400 point scale where you had to write an essay and uh, let someone's opinion into a uh, standardized test. Uh, bubbles. Bubbles are, are good. Like I feel like I got like a really good score on uh, math and uh, English part. I feel like it was, I don't know, like a thousand or eleven hundred or something like that. Somewhere in that range. And then I got like two or three hundred points on the uh, essay so it was a it was a great score after uh yeah that in uh 18 years old uh apply yourself a little bit more uh studious jeff uh go to class take uh college serious don't fail out of school 21 years old hmm 21. 21 was, uh, was a crap year. I don't want to change anything, though. 
stretch a little bit more before the Green Bay Marathon so you don't uh, destroy your leg and uh, waste time. Nah. Even that, I wasn't. Because, like, you, you look at crappy situations, like, you know, I ran the Green Bay Marathon and, uh, about halfway through it, I uh, destroyed my IT band, but Smart Jeff funded to the last, like, part of the Green Bay Marathon is you get to run Lambeau Field, and being a Packers fan, that was my goal. So I ran the last 13.1 on a hobbled leg and destroyed both sides because then one side had to uh, compensate for the other side hobbling on. Yeah, great. Six months or eight months of uh, physical therapy, but it got me into crazy long distance biking for a little while. And then once that fizzled off into canoeing long distance mileages. So, like I said, once one door, use that analogy, one door closes, one opens. Uh, just got to keep looking for those uh, openings. <laughs> yeah. Um, daily effing videos. Ugh. I, I know I just make excuses for this. Like, I could just sit here and go write a video like this for 20, 25 minutes of my day, and it's not going to ruin my rest of my day, because I just sit around and watch YouTube anyway, or watch TV. So I can just sit here in front of a camera and talk to the three people that are going to watch this. Uh, Vlogs, bring them back! Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Thursday, Wing Wednesday. Think of... Insert explosive here. And that looks like that's the end, unless I, uh, sometimes I like to skip like 10 pages. Nope, it looks like that is all. Oh, 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 oh. What did I write on this random page? I wrote six. Why did I write six? I don't know. It's mystery. One times, yeah, Ooh, I don't know. Random. I'm just gonna, I got like all these blank pages ready to, put. oh, 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 there's a back end here. Oh, it's just uh, March 18th, I, uh, my push and pull routine. Good for me. All right, well, yeah. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments down below. I know Matt's already run, probably written um, four and a half essays that were better than my 11th grade SAT essay that got me so many points. I feel like that essay was like, it was like one of those like stupid questions, like philosophical questions or practical questions. I don't know. I, it was, what was it? I'm going to think here for a second. I think it was like uh, the importance of education in getting a good job, a well, high paying job, happiness, whatever. And I think I went off the other tangent of, you know, <clears throat> of saying... You know, money is not important to me, and happiness is more important than all the money in the world. You know, yeah, it's it's nice to live comfortably, but billions or even millions, it's, it's not that important, you know. As I tell people, if I could make enough money to pay off my house and then have enough money, I don't know maybe $20,000 a year after taxes to be able to uh, buy food and make YouTube videos. That would be uh, that would be good for me. I don't need the millions and millions of dollars. You know, just, like I said, to live comfortably, that would be happiness for me and just be able to enjoy life. Uh, not going to, like, some job that you don't like every day. But, uh... It was some just to that, 
but I think I think I want like some extreme like at the end that they probably didn't like. Like I was just saying, like there's not really a point. Like yeah, you know that little dash mark between the year you're born and the year you end that you die um, is meaningful, but at the end, you know, we all end up in the ground or sprinkled somewhere. So it's not, I'm, I'm rambling on now. I don't, again, this was what, oh my God, 12, 13, 14, maybe, no, uh, probably not 14. Yeah, maybe, uh, probably 12 years. I'm going to go with 12 years ago. So my, my memory's a little foggy. But it was more of the gist of, you know, it's not a big deal to get that, you know, yeah, you, education and all that will get you that high-paying job, but it might not give you the happiness that you're looking for. So, at the end of the day, it's not that important for education. Again, I'm being hypocritical here because I, uh, I have a four-year degree, which has gotten me super far in life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the four-year degree, it's more of a, I, I take the more of the experiences out of it, of, you know, meeting people and enjoying my time that I was at college. And, uh, like the education was good and all that. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed a lot of the classes, but, um, they teach you nothing. At least for me, they taught me nothing for the real world. It's kind of like high school. You know, why? Why in high school? Why? Why? Uh, why with all the uh, crazy math? Like, why not? Like, I did take business classes that actually taught how to do your taxes and all that, and balancing a checkbook, which seems to be pointless these days with online banking. But uh, yeah, like more practical classes like that, I feel like would be more helpful than um, the Pythagorean theorem or whatever it was and uh, PEMDAS and all that good stuff. Except, you know, when you're sitting on Facebook and uh, someone throws like this stupid math equation up and then 99 out of 100 people get it wrong because they don't remember PEMDAS. I don't remember. What did PEMDAS stand for? I know, I know what it stands for mathematically, but wasn't there like some crazy... Um, thing we jig there, like please. I don't, I don't remember. I know it's parentheses, exponents, multiply, division, add, subtract, all that good stuff. But I know they said like, just if someone knows it, please just put it down. I'm probably just gonna Google it after this. It was like some stupid. What was it? Please enlighten me. It's no, it wasn't that. It was something stupid. Like monkeys or something. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Why am I still talking twenty eight minutes later? I hope uh I hope Matt's done with his cardio now and he's just like, son of a Jeff, you're you're killing me on this video. Cause he's gonna be like probably like one of the only ones. Maybe me. Maybe when like Timo's like bored in the middle of the night, maybe he'll watch it. Maybe, maybe you're watching this person in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, thanks for tuning in for this long. If you guys have made it this far, obviously you like something I said, or you're just waiting for me to crash and burn or something. But you probably should hit that little subscri subscribe button down there. It's, it's right, right down here. And um, you can see uh, all my great stuff. As I take on this awesome world. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in for so, so, so long. And I'll check back with you guys in the next video. See ya. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for my latest and greatest content. And if you want to check out the last video, it should be right over on this side in the info box. If you want to check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, or my Twitter, it'll be down below here. And make sure you hit that like button down below, comment if you'd like, and I'll check back with you guys on the next one. See ya.